and welcome back to another Wheelie Fun Pops. This time we are doing the BAM Horror. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to another Wheelie Fun Pops. My name's Amy and the voice from over there is Peter. Today we are doing the May BAM Horror Box. Is this our first horror box? Yes. This is our first horror box. Actually, I wasn't ever really into horror and then suddenly I kind of am. Weird. Anyway, the themes for this box are Night of the Demons. Night of the Demons. Which Never I, heard of it. I, I've not seen. Okay. Final Destination. I've heard of that. Seen that. Seen the first one. This one over here? Cujo. Cujo. Is that the dog? The Stephen King film. Haven't seen that oh, one dog. yet. I have. I'm, 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 I'm gradually, book. gradually catching up on my Stephen King. And? Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I've never heard of that one. Have you? <laughs> Buffy. Yay! Okay. And it was Buffy was the reason I went for this box in the hope that there might be a Buffy autograph in it. Really hoping for a Buffy autograph. That would be amazing. So uh, here we go. I have un 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 take the, the box and and oh, voila. There we go. There is the inside of the BAM box. You have your black BAM paper as per usual. And underneath that, we have our. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Uh, we have our BAM paper, which is uh, which has been bent around oh, what was inside. Oh. So yes, BAM paper. Something in a box. Something in a box. We we have something in a box, and um, yes, we're going to do the pin first. We're going to go for the pin first. So let's have a look at our pin. Ooh, oh ooh. Okay, um, well, it's a very cool pin. It's a really, really cool pin. Actually, very, very metal. Well, it's made out of metal, but it's it's kind of, you know, it's, it's I, I like that. Um, I like... I'm guessing that's from Night of the Demons. Then. Night of the Demons. She, she looks quite demonic. Put a bigger picture up here for you so that you can actually see the detail. But yeah, as usual, really nice quality pin really good enameling and um yeah limited release it says numbers are on the back of the pin do you want to know the number uh yes this is an upgrade this is uh i think uh, hang on hang on i Ooh. think this is the limited to 250 okay it says numbers on the back of the pin but guess what there's no number on the back of the then pin. it's not the upgrade so poop we didn't get the upgrade pin Oh well, never mind. It's a very cool pin anyway. And you know, nice, nice quality securing at the back, which is always good. I used to wear pins a lot when I was in my teens and they were for, the backs were forever falling off and I'd lose my pins and I'd be absolutely devastated. So the next thing in the box is a box. It's a blank box. Ooh, what's in the box? It's a blank box, so what do we have here? Something long and quite slim. What? Oh! Oh! This is the Buffy. Is this the Buffy thing? Is this the it's Buffy? It's a Buffy thing. It's a Buffy thing. That's very cool. It's a Buffy thing. I have a steak. I have a Buffy steak. Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. Look. Look at the detail on that. That's, that's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. I love that. It's really quite weighty as well. You, you know, it's, and it's the right shape. You know, you fit, fit that in, in the palm of, well, it wouldn't fit in your hand. Your hands are massive. But this, for, for someone my size, yeah, yeah that's, that's a, go and jab some vampires. <laughs> that's really cool. I love that. Okay, so we have our Buffy item, so not a Buffy autograph, sadly, Peter. But that means it's an autograph from Final Destination or Cujo. Oh, well, here we go. We have our art card. Ew. Ew. I don't know what that is. It, it's, it looks very demonic. It looks like somebody looking through a, a, a 
grate in a in a prison door or something. Um, so yes, Sean Langley has contributed his art here, and I'll try and find a one to put up there so you can see a little bit better. It's, it's quite gruesome. Um, I've established what it is. What it is, is it? Apparently it's a character called Jackal mm -hmm. from 13 Ghosts. Oh, right. Oh, Peter. The losing card. Don't give up. Never give up. Do the BAM card, because you never know. People have won things. Apparently. Apparently. Right. Oh, what have we got here? This will be our print. So here we go. We have the art print. We didn't win. Ooh. Oh, I quite like this. I quite like this. This is this is this is quite a cool piece of artwork. I would say that that's final destination. So this might be final destination. We won't know until we get the cheat sheet out and have a good look at that. Good squint at it anyway. Um, but yes, cool artwork. And this is obviously, I'd say this is probably part of a, maybe um, a, an extended piece. I'm not sure. I, this could, I this have thought so. No? No. No. Oh, okay. Well, no. anyway, it's a cool piece of art. Will we be keeping it? Well, probably not. But it's a cool piece of art. Um, okay. Blah, 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 blah. So we are on to the last item in our box. We have here our Beckett certified autograph. Now, there are very few actors in Cujo. Well, it's, it's mostly about a dog, isn't it? Mad dog. I Crazy. I <sighs> the story for you. Well, I, I, I vaguely know that it's about a mad dog. Anyway, we have a, uh, ooh, that's a, that's D. Wallace. D. Wallace. She was the main star. She's the main star of Cujo. E yeah. Ooh. So, main star of Cujo, the Stephen King film about a rampaging dog. Daniel would like that autograph. He would. If it weren't for the picture. If it weren't for the picture. <laughs> she is Grandma Rebecca in his favourite series, Just Add Magic. Oh, really? <laughs> um, yes, uh, I don't think he'd look at her in quite the same way, you know, looking at the... She's been in Supernatural. Uh-huh. Uh, she's been in 911. Right. Um, she, she's done, she's, she's done oh, lots of stuff. Yeah. Lots she, of stuff and the main star of... Cujo. Cujo was a TV movie, wasn't it? Rather than cinema, or, or was it? Recall. I'm not. I'm trying to remember whether it was a TV uh, movie or a, or a cinema release. But she was in General Hospital. Uh, Cujo. She's been in a lot of stuff. So yeah, D. Wallace. That's a good autograph. Decent autograph. I do recognise the face. I, I looking at her now. It's a bit difficult with this photograph. But Cujo was a 1983 movie and. It doesn't say it was made for TV. Hmm. Well, anyway, let us have a look at the contents, the, the remaining contents of the box, which is the cheat sheet and our BAM uh, featured celebrity. So, yes, D D Wallace, known for Cujo. E.T., she was the mum in E.T. She was the mum in E.T. Uh -huh. how, could, how could you miss that? And the howling. I had a huge list I was scrolling through. There, 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 there. there she is. There she is. I'm sure that you will recognise her. There. Ta-da. Okay, so yes, I think I'm pretty sure she was the mum in E.T. Okay, so here are our cheat sheet bits of information. The celebrity autograph. 1983 Stephen King inspired Cujo was given... Uh, many a very real has given many bleh, 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 bleh. try that again uh has given many a very real fear of dogs this is partially thanks to d wallace who played unsuspecting housewife donna today's lesson keep your dog's nose out of rabbit holes that means nothing to me but then i haven't seen the movie um yes i mean our picture wasn't the best picture we could have had better pictures um i'll see if i can find the uh, like a, or, or i can put 
bigger picture of the, 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 the no that's not focusing okay I'll see if I can do a bigger picture so you can actually see what's on the cheat sheet but anyway the collector's pin uh this month we wanted to take it back to 88 to capture a few of our favorites from night of the demons complete the set by tom ryan with two different angela pins and a roger pin okay so we just got the basic oh yeah we just got the basic pin we didn't yeah. get any of the level up pins uh. um artist alley artist Ma mark rudolph remembers some of Fate's best kill shots from Final Destination in this fan art mashup and variant. Okay, um, meant to be a set. Keep out for them both. I was right. Oh, part of a set. Okay. Uh huh. Prop item. All '90s kids and weapon enthusiasts will no can leap around our local cemeteries practicing for our vampire slaying moves with one of Buffy's stakes. That's just so cool. Where, where did it go? In the book. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yes, that is that is one of the best props, actually, in my view, that we've had in a while. And the artist select card, May's villain, is one of TV's creepiest psychiatric patients, 13 Ghosts Jackal. Keep an eye out for uh, one of one cards that include more ghosts from Sirius Collection. Okay. Well... It's a pretty good box, I think. But how much did we pay for it? Um, the band boxes are about thirty-five pounds as a monthly box for Is that each box. Plus shipping or I including? Including shipping. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, let us first have a look at our our pin. Can you find any of these? Yeah, the pin is worth about eight pounds. About eight pounds. That seems to be the going rate for the band they pins. They usually roughly around... sell between five to eight, but the general price on them is eight pounds. Okay. Uh, how about my card, my artist the card, card here? Uh, about five pounds for about, that one. About fiver. Okay. We're looking at the artist's print. That print is only going for around seven pounds. Oh. Okay. Well. I think it's pretty good actually. Um, and then of course we have our steak. Now, I can't find any having sold in this country yet, but the ones that have sold from America are around 15 pounds equivalent plus about 10 pounds shipping to the UK. Right. So we've got to be looking about 20 pounds for that. I reckon to any Buffy enthusiast that 20 pounds is is a bargain for that to be perfectly honest i don't think it's going anywhere though because i like it <laughs> it's, it's, feel that feel that yeah that's really really good it's really quite good isn't it yeah i like that so anyway moving on to our autograph d wallace about 25 pounds about 25 pounds so do the brain work for me um, total value, 65. Yeah. 65 pounds. Can't argue with that. No. You can, well, you could argue with that, but we wouldn't hear you because you're and not here. Even if you sell for <laughs> slightly below those values, you'd get your money back on what you got in the box. Indeed. Easily. Indeed. So that was May's BAM. BAM horror. BAM horror. Um, check out the details. Uh, in the, the the link to, to the BAM, in the details, it's all there. If you've enjoyed watching this unboxing or, and, you know, generally just un enjoy what we do, please do the thing, like the, 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 the thumbs like and, the button and like press, the button, press the ring, ring the button and, and do all the, do all the stuff, support the channel. We really appreciate it. I've been Amy, he's been Peter. We've been Willie Pop Fox. Bye. <laughs>